that uh, I work for an arts festival, um, that uh, it's about uh, connecting and engaging with the people of Melbourne and I always ask taxi drivers if they've heard about us because, you know, taxi drivers should be partly your barometer, you know, people talk. Um, and uh, yeah, that it's about uh, finding shows and artists that people want to see. Balance is not really the question. Uh, I look, I guess the thing is that I'm doing what I love. Um, if I was not uh, working in, in the arts and lucky enough to be going to the theatre three or four times a week at least, if not more, um, I would be doing that anyway. Um, so uh, when I go to a theatre, I am working, but I'm also enjoying myself and, and doing, you know, seeing, seeing what I love. Um, and most of, the, most of the, the conversations that I have in that environment, uh, it's very difficult to sort of draw the line and go, well, you know, is it work or is it, is it, uh, is it pleasure? Because it's all pleasure, really. So not a lot of balance, I have to say. I was born in Melbourne and uh, I've lived only in, in, in London and in Sydney. Um, but uh, Melbourne's home. Melbourne is, I've come back to Melbourne. Uh, I have, I have. I was a tea lady at uh, Unilever in London, at Unilever House. I had my floor, I had my trolley, and I did my two rounds every day. And uh, I loved it, I had fun. I think it is. Um, and in fact, I have done that once. Um, not dramatically, but I moved from one job to another. Uh, a job which was fairly, as, as a bit more of a, a specialist. Um, and I realised that I wanted to broaden my skills and my experience. So I changed jobs, went from a big company to a small company and took a pay, like 50% pay cut to do that. And, uh, but I don't regret it at all and I never regretted it because it did what I wanted it to do and it, it, it opened me up to a whole range of new experiences and, and, uh, and gave me a much better foundation to, I suppose, be doing what I'm doing today. to be an ethologist. I wanted to study animal behaviour. And I got all the way through doing sciences until what we used to call fifth form. And uh, just wasn't very good at chemistry and physics. And so I switched streams and went into humanities and, and, uh, and then life sort of took a completely other path. But I got caught up in all of that fantasy world that a, that a kid would with um, Jane Goodall the Gorillas in the Mountain. <laughs> gorillas in the Mist, I think the film was called. Um, yeah, so I read up on that and that's what I wanted to, to do. I grew up with animals everywhere, so. At the moment, I'm really lucky enough to still be in touch with Brett Sheehy, who of course is the outgoing um, artistic director here at Melbourne Festival. I've worked with him before, um, I've known him for years, he has always been a mentor. Um, and uh, in addition to him, um, in particular Fergus Linehan, who was the artistic director of Sydney Festival, uh, and he and I worked together for four or five years and, and uh, he has really contributed a lot to my understanding. Essential, essential. Um, it's, uh, we network constantly amongst peers. Uh, you know, we share experiences and share stories. We learn from each other. Um, and, uh, and that happens all around the world. Um, one of the wonderful things about working in the arts is that, you know, you're part of a local and a national and an international network. Um, and that's fascinating and energizing. Um, and uh, it's really important to make sure that you take every opportunity that that, that gives you. Um, but uh, also it, it's networking amongst you know, artists and companies and, and you know, really keeping your ear to the ground and, and knowing what's going on and who's doing the really interesting work. Um, a lot of that's sort of talk and, and passing on experience.